What's up YouTube, Jeep and Bubba here. Today we're doing a trail cleanup. I think we got about 20 rigs with us. We're going to do Cooper's Creek and we're meeting at the Home Depot as usual. Got the off-road overland trailer behind me. Got my boy Jay Woolley here with S3 Mag. Let's get after it, let's clean the trail. So we ended up with about 17 folks, uh, counting them all. Got a, not just Jeeps, not all just Jeeps today. We got a couple of different things on the trail with us. Um, got some of the usuals. Got uh, the Black Pioneer and Lone Wolf. Uh, shout out, show out. I was going to say shout out, show out. Uh, Jonathan Woolley, Jay from Tire Distributors. Uh, my boy Johnny, a.k.a. Gentanamo Bay. And uh, quite a few, quite a few. And... Uh, too many to name. <laughs> Silver Dollar Adventures Lee's out here with us today and having a good time. I did have a few last minute hit me up and say they were sick or had something come up and that's totally fine because we're going to be doing, you know, probably three more of these this year. I try to do four a year. Um, this just happens to be the first one. It's 34 degrees and we might get a little bit of snow today. We're looking forward to it. So we're in Cooper's Creek WMA, basically just gravel roads, real pretty view. And we're gonna find places where we can stop and pull over and pick up trash. What we don't want to do is inconvenience anybody on the trail um, by blocking the trail to pick up trash. So we're not gonna be able to stop at every single place we might see a can or you know a piece of paper or whatever. But we're gonna get into all the the campsites and uh, any place we can get that we're not gonna cause any issues. And we decided today to push the ride until lunch because it rained yesterday and it looks perfect because the trail looks like it, it's drained well and we're not doing any harm or treading lightly and that's the biggest thing is the only impact we want to have here today is a positive one so that's what we're pushing for that's what we're doing and uh let's quit the talking and get to picking up trash so much irony in this super funny get your ears on you're listening uh that jeep that rolled through said that the road is closed up here that they have all three roads gated which is frustrating because the forest service announced their closures for weather yesterday and this was not on it so we'll just see what's going on up there if it is closed we'll just park at the gates and you know walk and do as much as we can and we've got some other options in this area that we can go and do some cleanups at as well I feel like we're 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 losing the battle, um, but we're kind of our own worst enemy because all of us YouTubers and everyone putting out social media, we just don't put a good image out there for ourselves. So that's a lot of why I film these trail cleanups is because I do want to show anyone that may be watching that the Jeep community and and not just Jeeps, overland, off road because we have a lot of other vehicles out here today. We absolutely care about keeping these trails natural and beautiful and we don't want to see trash on them and so we're going to be a part of um, the solution and not the problem and uh, one thing I was reading from the forestry department was they were talking about you know this, you've got more responsibility when you're on a, uh, a forestry road than you do on a regular road and that's that you don't want to impact the environment uh, negatively and of course I think you have that responsibility on a paved road as well but they're right you can cause some ecological damages I hope I pronounced that word correctly but you can definitely you know do a, a side trail or something like that or make your own road and and really cause a, a problem for uh, habitats and, and for erosion and things like that so it's important that we tread lightly it's important that we don't throw out trash and uh, I was listening to, to tread lightly recently and I'll leave you guys with this but he was, uh, Matt Codwell was doing an interview and he was saying that he was talking to the forestry department and they said 1% of every group is the problem. And it's not just jeepers, it's not just guys on bikes, it's not, you know, it's also hikers, it's also fishermen, hunters, 1%. So 99% of us are doing the right thing and we've, we're getting punished for that 1%. So that's why we're out here today. Is, is to try to reverse the impact of that 1%. So let's go find some more trash.
All right, he was right. Road is closed, and there is no announcement about that anywhere on their site. So that's unfortunate, but we're gonna circle back and uh, we'll go hit YJ and we'll pick up trash on it if we see any. All right, so obviously there's the lock gate there and that's what gets us in trouble. That is not treading lightly. And you can see somebody went down and went back right there. But here's here's the kicker. There's, there's actually like a little ranger stand down there about a mile on the left and they're gonna find out that that was not a good decision. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> I think you're taking a video. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're having a backtrack, which is my least favorite thing, but I get to enjoy a nice, clean trail. Well, road, technically. This is a forestry road. I shouldn't call it a trail. I just like calling it a trail, I guess. Um. Don't take that road right there. That's not legal. Anyways, um, sorry about that little bump. We're having to backtrack and we're gonna go back towards Suches and go up to YJ Gap. Uh, it's gonna be a little tight for all of us, but we'll get up there and once we do, we'll pick up any trash we see there as well. And we can only clean as much as they'll allow us to do. So which is, I can't believe they closed this road today. It's really frustrating because they're supposed to announce things like this and I don't see the reasoning. Like I understand that they close them for inclement weather, but the roads pretty much dried out. Um, there's a little bit of flurries, but there's no big storm or anything coming and I get in the roads pretty dried out and it's pretty much all gravel. You can barely tell that we came through here. So I don't get it. I really don't, but we did our part today. Let's go see if we can find some more handsome views. And by the way, the folks that came today, great people. Thank you for your help. And uh, looking forward to having our next one and having doing some more folks out here. But to have 17 rigs um, and over 30 people and it's 34 degrees outside and sleeping, that takes some dedication. We appreciate it. Come on down, son. All right, so we ended up having a great truck cleanup, but we ran into some issues once we hit the second trail. Now we only had about half the group that went with us, and I think that's a story I wanna tell another time in another video. But I just wanna thank everyone again who came out and made it such a great day. And I did later find out that that road was seasonally closed, and it didn't show it on the interactive map. You had to go and find seasonal seasonal closures. If you wanna ride that area, you can go up to Mulkey Gap, uh, you have to cut off to the right before you get to that gate closure on 39. So that's just a little information for you. And that's, you know, information from January 2024. So if you see this video between now and the middle of March of 2024, that gate will still be closed. All right. Thanks for watching. Eat your prunes. We'll be seeing you.